been practicing my moves and I'm pretty sure I'm going to win the Jetstar Surf Classic. I've got skills, check them. This is a cup, man. This is now real. That's where it all started from. A stupid video I was convinced to post on Instagram to enter in a surfing competition with Jetstar to win a trip to Hawaii. The video got 10,000 views and Jetstar named me as one of the three finalists. I never had a video go viral, so I couldn't surf as you can all see. <laughs> So the deal was that they flew me to the Gold Coast. We had surf lessons and spent two days of filming. It was hosted by the comic gold duo Luke and Sassy Scott. And they actually had two professional surfers, Jesse Stelling and Vorg Blakey, judging the event. They ran a social media campaign with all the footage and the public voted a few weeks later. I didn't win, but I had an awesome time and it was an experience I wouldn't forget. While in the Gold Coast, we also did the Aqueduct, which was a real hit for the kids. We also did an Affinity Attraction and Dracula's Cabaret show after we got a babysitter for the kids. Who's ready? Oh, has it? You put the buns in? You said you did. Oh! After a big night at Dracula's, we spent the last full day at Dreamworld. It was a bit of a drive out of the Gold Coast, so we hired a soccer mum's car, which was a carnival. We ended up getting a pass, which included Dreamworld, the Aqueduct, and Infinity World, and also the Q1 Tower, which we didn't end up having enough time to complete. But Dreamworld was quiet that weekend, and a few rides like the floor were closed, but we still got our thrills in. And the day went pretty quick, but we finished off the day by just relaxing around the hotel pool. But anyway, that was pretty much the rest of our trip. So, until next time, peace.
Straight. I had to set them straight. They hate when you elevate. 